Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about lemon perfumes. I have chosen 10 lemon perfumes that I absolutely love. They are a mix of cheapies and more expensive ones. I also have a mix of decant samples and bottles. It's just a whole range of stuff, but these are the ones that I really enjoy a lot. Sometimes with lemon notes in perfumes, well, actually more than sometimes, pretty often, lemon can kind of come off as the like household cleaner lemon scent, which is kind of off-putting. For me, the ones I'll be mentioning today don't go into that territory, thank goodness. But anyways, I'll be talking about them in no specific order. However, I will leave my favorite three to the very end of this video. So let's begin here. We have a bottle sitting here of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Very popular fragrance. I'm sure you guys have all tried this. I know some of you absolutely love it and some of you think it's terrible. <laughs> On my skin, it is absolutely gorgeous. This is basically a lemon scent, but it's a sparkling lemon scent with some woody notes and there's some really tart green apple notes in here on my skin it's absolutely gorgeous one of my favorites it's one that I've gone through several bottles of early on in my journey it's also a fragrance that my mom really loves as well so for me it's more of a nostalgic scent as well it's one of the fragrances that I fell in love with when I first moved to the Netherlands and also this is the one perfume that pretty much convinced me um, to get into this whole perfume hobby thing many years ago. So Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Eau de Toilette is the first one. Next up here we have a flanker of it and I think this would be my second favorite. Actually, you know what? It, it probably is my first favorite flanker of the series. They, they come up with a different one every single year. Italian Zest, if I'm not mistaken, is from 2018. So this Italian Zest is pretty much the same as the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, the original. But if you were to amp up the lemon notes in here and then make it very creamy, so much so that it comes off almost as a gourmand kind of lemon scent. It still has that sparkling character in it, but for me, it smells like a lemon flavored whipped cream. And uh, <laughs> I really enjoy wearing this in the summertime. And yeah, it is my favorite flanker. So the next one here is yet another flanker of the light blue collection i just have like a little uh, decant here this is the light blue intense for me it's not really that intense on my skin this is very very similar again to the original light blue however with the intense version i just find it to be more thicker and denser and also the woody notes in the base are most prominent on my skin so for this one the first one it's like a sparkling lemon woody scent uh, the italian zest is a sparkling creamy lemon wood woody scent and this one is a more dense lemon scent with the emphasis on the woods. So can't go wrong with any of them. You guys are all great, but I do enjoy them a lot. And I think that uh, the lemon in all three of these perfumes are very, very well done. All right. So next up, we have a fragrance from the house of Zara slash um, Joe Malone or Joe Loves. And this is a Malfi Sunray. So... This collection is a very affordable collection. I just love most of the fragrances from this line. I have made a video on this whole collection. I can link it down there in the description box. But anyways, Amalfi Lemon to me smells so similar to Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. But if you can imagine the lemon part of Neroli Portofino, if you were to emphasize that in Neroli Portofino, that's what pretty much Amalfi Sunray is. To me, it's more like a more floral, more lemony Neroli Portofino, and also much, much more affordable. <laughs> you can get a roller ball like this for like, I think six or seven euros, and then there's that 40 mil bottle you can get for 16 euros, and then the big size, the um, 90 mils is I think 26 euros. So if you're looking for Neroli Portofino on a budget, then you would probably like this, Amalfi Sunray. Would definitely recommend to check it out all right so the next perfume i want to talk about is on the other side of the 
price range. This is a very expensive perfume. I just have a little sample of it here. But this is from the house of Zerzhov and it's called Renaissance. So Renaissance to me, I just have a test strip here. So Renaissance, oh yeah, it's really, really nice. This is a classy lemon scent. There's mint in here as well which I really like. It makes it even more fresher than just a regular citrus scent. Um, there's also other citrusy scents in here. There's orange and bergamot and petty grain. But for me, the emphasis is on the lemon and it's classy. It smells expensive. It performs really, really well, you guys. So if you're looking for like a beast mode citrus lemon scent, it's not focusing. I'll just leave it here. Then I would definitely recommend checking this out because it smells absolutely amazing. Okay, so the next one here is a fragrance from the House of Guerlain. This one has been getting some hype lately in the community. This is Guerlain Loam Ideal Cologne. So this is recommended, or sorry, this is marketed towards men. But for me, it does not smell like particularly masculine or feminine. It's definitely a unisex perfume. You can find this for a very low price right now on discounters. I picked mine up for like 16 euros or maybe even 14 euros or something like that for this 50 ml. This one is obviously it's a lemon scent. For me, it's kind of like a fresh out of the shower kind of lemon perfume. There's apparently some almond in here in the notes. On my skin, I do not get any almond whatsoever. I just get a fresh lemon with some musk and some vetiver. And it's just an easy to wear, everyday kind of perfume, very refreshing, very well done. It just smells really, really nice. All right, so next up here, we have a discontinued perfume. I just have a little decant of it here. This is from a viewer. Thank you so much to the viewer who sent it to me. This is from the House of Laura Mercier from their Eau Gourmand collection. This is called Tarte au Citron. So this one... Translated, I believe it's like lemon cake or lemon tart. And that's pretty much exactly what it smells like. Let me get a whiff of it here. Yeah, it's zesty, it's lemony, it's creamy. It makes you want to eat it. It does have this deliciousness to it where when you smell it, you it's like something you would want to eat. And <laughs> that's what I love about this one so much. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty much a lemon cake with some whipped cream on top. And I mean, now that I'm thinking of it, that's exactly what I want to eat right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we have three more to go. These are going to be my top three lemon perfumes that I own. In number three spot, we have Shalimar Souffle, or I keep on saying this wrong, Souffle de Parfum. Uh, from the house of Guerlain. This to me is a sexy lemon scent. It's not your typical lemon scent at all. It has a very nice muskiness in here. It's uh, There's some vanilla in here and it's just a very sultry, uh, non-citrusy citrus scent, if you know what I mean. It doesn't have like that sparkling, fresh, summery lemon to it. It's weighed down with some musk and some vanilla and it for me, it feels like a more serious or more mature lemon scent, if you know what I mean. But it smells absolutely fantastic. I love the bottle of it. It's very elegant and beautiful. And it's just a fantastic lemon perfume that is done in a way that's different from all of these in front of me here. Because it has that, like, that sexiness to it. So for me, it's a sexy lemon scent. And I absolutely love it a lot. In my number two spot, we have a niche perfume, a indie niche, from the House of Ganesh Parfums. I have gushed about this a lot on my channel before, you guys. This is the best lemon gourmand that I have ever, ever tried in my entire life. Yeah, it's definitely one of my most favorite gourmand scents. I know it's been reformulated, I'm not sure how many times, and I know that with the company, they aren't open, or there's something going on that I'm not really sure. <laughs> but speaking of just about the perfume itself, Lemon Eclair, to me, smells like a delicious lemon cheesecake, and on top, we have a big dollop of whipped cream. It is so realistic, it literally smells 
like the dessert and it's even more delicious in my opinion than the tarte au citron <laughs> and finally we are at my number one pick so this is from the house of chanel it's marketed towards men but there's nothing manly about this one just like with this one nothing manly about it or typically manly this is chanel allure homme edition blanche so i've gone through several bottles of this me and my husband wear it both it's a very popular scent in the community i'm pretty sure many of you are already familiar with it but basically people say it's like a lemon meringue pie yeah it's that but there's also some spice in here mm. there's some woods in here there's some vanilla it's just the perfect vanilla scent it's perfect for every day it's very versatile it's very enjoyable to wear and ladies out there don't be discouraged or afraid to try this because it's marketed towards men because yeah that would be such a shame it is a fantastic unisex lemon scent that is just perfect for all occasions for all year round and just everything it ticks all the boxes off uh, when it comes to what I look for in a citrus scent and um, this is definitely the winner by far easily <laughs> all right guys so those were my 10 favorite lemon perfumes I would love to hear what you guys think about these ones in the comments and also if you guys have any other lemon perfumes that you'd like to recommend please do that in the comments I'd love to hear that as well other than that thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I hope you guys are doing okay, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.